MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. MustangMedic.com. The 1966 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. All right, it's time for the first test drive in the car. I'm going to probably just go pick up the kids at the school and bring them back in the Mustang. Checking all the fluid levels. We needed more fluid in the power steering pump. It was making some, it was making some noise. And uh, we are now going to, I've got water that I put into the radiator, so that's doing better. And what's happening now is all the paint's burning in as she heats up. And I'm waiting for that fan to go on before I take her out. All right, this part's always kind of scary to me when it starts smoking, but it's really just burning in the uh, paint for the first time as she heats up on the manifold, so. This will burn off, this residue. It's probably just a slight film of oil, but I don't hear any exhaust leaks whatsoever. And the fan has not yet gone on. See the blades that are not moving. We're waiting for it to get up to temperature and see what we got. Yeah, the smoke's all coming from the uh, burning in the in the gaskets on the manifold. They're getting super heated. Alright, so we have good oil pressure. Oil pressure looks good. You got a half a tank of gas. Gas gauge is working. The amps are working. The alternator's working. And we got the temperature gauge is working. So all gauges are a go. She's still heating up, waiting for her to reach that temp where the thermostat opens up and then it should and then it should turn on the the sensor should turn on the fan Hello. Carlos hit the gas a little oh never yeah hit the gas hello hit the gas a little bit yeah, it looks like it looks like the thermostat is opening up, and we have flow. Yep, oh, never, never mind, Carl. You don't need to. We got flow, and the thermostat's open. So now all we need to see, all we need to see now, is that fan kick on, and her not overheat, and then we know we're working. So we're just waiting for that fan to go on. Carlos! Oh, we got it! We got a fan moving! The relay's working. I went to go check the temperature inside, and I came back and the fan is on. We've got a fan. All systems are go. We're going to take her for a test drive now, and it is looking good, guys. She is looking good. Alright, I'm putting more transmission fluid. Alright, trans, trans fluids, power steering, oil, all levels are good to go. We're taking her out for a test spin. And here goes that fan kicking out again. I love it. The relay is working perfectly. There's that fan kicking up and down, which is just perfect. So, relay and your cooling system, Zoma, are working as planned. All right, let's go. All right. Is the air low on the tires? No, not really. I mean, we'll check the pressure, but they seem okay. All right, guys, we're gonna get to run her around for a little bit. Let's get to see if the tail end settles a little bit on her. So, test drive, 66.
Zoma's Little White Pony. There we go. Great news, we've been sitting here idling for more than almost 20 minutes. Well, more than almost. We've been idling for about 20 minutes and she is staying right in the center of the temperature gauge, which is great news because the only circulation we're counting on right now is from the fan. We put her in reverse and we put her forward. She moves back and forth. Transmission's good to go. So now we're taking her out. Ooh, those springs are tight. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Ooh. Oh yeah, she's feeling great. Wow, the timing's almost perfect. We might have to do some minor adjustments to her. But uh, we are rolling in the 66, guys. We are on the road. And she feels great. I like these springs. The front end's a little bit squirrely, but that's because it's got the stock sway bar in it. But uh, Zoma wants to do front end stuff to it later, too. So hopefully we'll see her again shortly. All right. Pro test, picking up the kids, watching the gauges. A little bit of a valve tap, that means I gotta pull back the timing a little bit. Carlos, we missed the light. We missed the light? It's all right. We're rolling in this car, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, success. Running strong, gauges all reading what they were, what they're supposed to read, so we're good on that. Front end's a little squirrely, I mean, we didn't do any work on the front end. Um, we're gonna check the tire pressure. Only thing we did was take off the brake drums and put them back on, so. Uh, Something to talk about with Zalma in the future. I think a front sway bar and uh, shocks will help out a lot because the tail end is tight as all heck now with the shocks and springs. I would probably do it the same thing in the front of the car. And uh, we're going to be doing the body work and getting her painted too for her. So just a heads up. She's chugging along and nice. She feels good. All that smoke that was coming off the paint, the new paint's burned off. It's not smoking anymore. And uh, you hear, you hear that? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! We chirp second gear. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this thing is running strong. You got a nice car, Zoma. Blinker light working. All lights are working and underneath the dash. Radio cranks, but I can't put it on because YouTube won't let me use other people's music, only my own. And here we go again. I'm going to come around this turn and give it a little gas. Listen to this shifting. All right, that time it didn't do it. Yeah, I'm going to change the timing just a little bit. But she's going right first, second, and third gear. Smooth as silk. No vacuum issues. We are good to go. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. All right, kids are picked up. A little late because we had to do a lot of fluids. But uh, there she is. She's out on the road again. After about, I guess it's been a month and a half of working on this car, 50 days, and it's always a pleasure to take a car out, run her around. She's been sitting there idling for a while while Carlos was in the car. No overheating, staying right in the center. So we are good to go with the fan relay, fan, new radiator. Got no, no leaks at all on any hoses that I can see right now, but we're going to run her again for in about an hour, two hours, and just start looking underneath her and see if we can find anything that's a leak. But uh, rims are all cleaned up, underbody, exhaust is fixed, no more exhaust leaks, Zoma, and uh, we're good to go. We're going to go for a roll. All right, so what I did was I brought the timing and I advanced it a little bit to see if that was going to get rid of the valve and listen to this. <laughs> so now she's got power and she's kind of throaty, Zoma. I like your, I think uh, you got some nice mufflers on here. <laughs> Whoa! She's running really strong. All right, she's good. All right, next thing, we're gonna put this video up, a little success story, 
Carlos has washed her. Uh, he's also vacuumed her out, and we uh, I got the timing adjusted properly. The only things I can see right now that are a necessity that uh, Zoma hasn't done for handling is front shocks, front shocks, and um, I don't know if the springs need to get changed out. She's a little floaty in the front, and maybe a sway bar because the back end handles better than the front end right now because of the work we did, but. She's still valid. We're going to do a little more adjustments, but uh, she's definitely going the right direction. All right, so here it is. Now, I'm going to slow down to almost a crawl so we can go through all three gears, and uh, here we go. First gear. Second gear. This is a hard throttle. third gear. It's shifting great. It's running great. Engine's strong. Um, good power. Tail end is snug as, as, all, as all out. I'll do another um, video on the tail end to see if the springs are settling a little bit. She's running at perfect temperature. The um, new radiator is working fine and uh, she's running strong. The only thing this car needs now is front end work. It, need, it does need a uh, front shocks, maybe springs, and uh, possibly, uh, definitely a new sway bar, because there's a really a double thick sway bar you can get for the car, it works really well. Um, put that on the 69, but uh, the tail end's tight, engine's running great, I'm very, and, the, and the radiator's working fantastic, so very pleased, Zoma. I hope you're going to be happy tomorrow when you ride her, and uh, I think uh, you're going to be pleased with the results. Here's an example of the kick down. Feel it? That's that kick down cable. That's that kick down cable we were working on. It's it's adjusted properly, so when the gas goes all the way down and the throttle goes goes all the way back, it pulls that little cable and, and initiates the, the downshift on the transmission. And it's all working quite well. You're gonna be very happy with the back end of your car. <laughs> Carlos is gonna drive me to Cerveza. That's all I gotta say with the video. All right. Uh, it's, it's all good to go. I'm really pleased with it, and she is running really strong. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna have too much more fun with your car, so I'm gonna road test all. All came out good. We just gotta look for leaks to see if anything's missed, and uh, she's ready to go back to you. So we'll be looking on her, on her underside, and uh, she'll be waiting for you. All clean. Running cool. That's it. Love that girl. Mustangmedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com No, 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 no,